Hello everybody, this is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap Up brought to you by FHT Sports. It is Thursday, December 27th. I want to do something that I hope is interesting uh, with the vlog here between now and the end of the year and talk about the six most important or compelling or interesting developments over the last year from a sports perspective in and around Fresno. Some of this stuff might sound self-serving. I can assure you that it's not. It's up to you to believe that or not, but I can assure you it's not. It might sound controversial, certainly not the case. It may sound, some people might sound like I'm cheerleading. Like I've gotten a lot of messages about how much I uh, appreciate the coaching job done by Coach Tedford this year. And what's going on with the basketball team at Fresno State. And some other stuff as well. And that's okay too, because that's what this is about. It's about an organic interaction. We're going to talk about, we're going to peel the curtain back a little bit over the next couple of days, kind of show what we're looking to do over the next year or so. But right now we want to take a look back because if you take a look back and then put it in the rear view mirror, you know what you need to do going forward, or at least it can help. So number six, in terms of the most interesting developments in the Fresno sports scene this year is the evolving media coverage here in Fresno. And it's not finger pointing. And there's nobody to blame. It just is. We talked about this a couple weeks ago, uh, over a month ago. And, and uh, thank you for your feedback, people. Uh, when we were talking about why Fresno State Bulldog football was not selling out. And uh, they had an unbelievable year. And toward the end of the season, there were more and more people, but still not a sellout. And we talked about some of the coverage. And that continues to be the case. If you will give access to somebody or some people or an organization based upon number of clicks and visits and not take the 38 seconds to dive deeper into what are the demographics? Where are, what are what's coming in? See, there's no one thing. The problem is sometimes we slice up the pie too much in the world. And this is the number six thing. So we'll, we'll focus on this for the next couple of minutes. And then the next vlog, we'll talk about other interesting things. The problem is everybody wants a clipboard and a whistle. Everybody wants to be, and these are good people. Don't get me wrong, these are good people. And I'm not talking about any organization. The Grizzlies, the Foxes, the Monsters, the Ice Dogs, Fresno State, Fresno City. It's just, as you know, we cover the NHL. We, cover, we see this redundancy over and over. And I'm like 25, not that I know it all. In my 25 years in marketing and media, I was selling online advertising in 1995 for Prodigy. So when I hear somebody tell me, oh, what's your visits and click-throughs on the adult? It's, I, I, just, I, I just have to sit back and go, they don't know that they don't know. They think they know. Or I listen to an old print media trying to change the way that they do things. And again, they got some really good people there. Very defensive sometimes, but some really good people there. I'm not just talking about one newspaper. And they say, well, this is what we're going to do. And basically what they do is they put a fake mustache. It's like Bobby Valentine. Remember when Bobby Valentine, the New York Met manager, got thrown out of the game and he tried to sneak back in the dugout wearing a mustache? That's what most local newspapers are doing now. And if you notice, the, the, the print gets, uh, the number of pages gets smaller and smaller. And... Um, the articles are not local. Most of them are taken from uh, UPI or Associated Press or some of the other entities that they own in different areas. Now, what does it have to do with Fresno? Everything. I'll give you a couple of great tangible examples. You had an unbelievable Fresno State football season this year. And while it was covered, was it really covered as deeply as, as maybe it should have been? Did we know about people who are playing offensive line, blocking schemes? What do they do to cover? Did we talk about um, when Ted, uh, Coach Teffer would talk about working from the back to the front? What exactly does that mean? Did we dive deeper or did we go, let's take a look at the next opponent because you don't have the intelligence, it's my opinion, you don't have the intelligence to actually dive deeper into football. And I'm not saying that, 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 that you know, I do. But I do know that I'm smart enough to know I'm not smart enough to know everything. 
And then we hear people, oh, look at our click-through rates. Look at our clicks. Well, well, really? How long are your visits, your clicks? And if you're even talking about CTR, you're outmoded. You're outmoded. And if you're not showing up for press conferences because you can get it from a feed from somebody else, well, on one level, that's fine. But then you succumb to the access that others give you. Where's the analysis? I think the Fresno... People ask, where are these Fresno fans? And my retort to that is, why are you out there looking for them? Why are you, out, why are you not out there looking for them? I'll give you a great example. Fresno State Wrestling. An unbelievable coach. We got to interview him. We got to talk to him. Stein is a great man. Last year, as you probably know, and only Christopher Gabriel brings this up, in my opinion, who by far and away is the best sports radio talk show on the West Coast. Bar none. He talks about it. But where's the coverage? Every once in a while, you'll get, if, if there's empty space, you'll, you'll see five or six lines of, of copy. Last year, they were in the top five nationally in attendance. That's all organic. That's not because uh, you know, any athletic department made it easier for people to come here. And again, the Fresno Athletic Department is terrific, don't get me wrong. But can you imagine if the press actually got behind what's going on there? I think other than us, who else reported that the national heavyweight champion, though he did not wrestle, wrestling for Minnesota was here a couple of weeks ago. He didn't wrestle because of a forfeit. How do you not interview this person? How do you not talk about it? Do you think maybe, especially since tickets were free if you went to the basketball game, maybe you, more people would have been there? So instead of having close to 3,000, you have 6,000, 7,000? What's the deep dive as to why Selen Arena was sold? Why uh, Selen Arena was sold out for basketball, and they have a phenomenal team now that you must go see. And there's you know three thousand people, five thousand people, and that's not a stain on Fresno State. They're doing everything they can. If there has to be a finger pointed, I blame the local media for not caring. But I also blame the people that do not open up access to other forms of media who will do a compelling job. Well, you don't have enough visits or you don't have enough hits. Or you, look at the demographics. You're feeding out of the same pond. So you have the same people reading or doing or going. And what happens is if you know anything about media, and by the way, I was, like I said, I was selling Prodigy advertising in 1995. I go back a long way with the internet. So what, you know, again, not that I know it all. And this is important in Fresno because the culture is changing. We have the Fresno Foxes. We have some unbelievable Fresno State teams that are stepping up. We have a WSHL team here in the Monsters. We have baseball teams being, uh, baseball players being drafted last year. So if you don't open up to new media and watch that organic growth, where are you getting your new people from? Let me tell you something very simple about media and marketing. And there might be some tenured professor in their tired old philosophies. And if they ever had any sort of uh, ability to be wrong, then maybe I'm wrong. Well, let's, let's talk about media and marketing. But, people, but over the 10 year lifespan, people die, they move away, and they change habits. What are you doing to replenish, to build your base? If you're not being taught on there, your tenured professor should resign. If, you, if you're being sold a bill of goods from Sacramento but pretending to be Fresno B, and you're really the Sacramento B or something or McCatchy out of North Carolina, just know what you're dealing with. Just know what you're dealing with. And uh, a local television station. I, I, I remember the days when two or three people would come and they'd get stories. Now these news people, and they're great. But they're setting up their own stuff. I mean, they have the wonderful, nice jackets with a little insignia on it. But are they really serving the people in Fresno? And again, people in Fresno aren't victims, but I will tell you this, they deserve more. And we hope to give you that. So the number six story is the lack of sports focus by the local media and how we're hoping to change that. And that's what I see. 
This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap Up. Let me know what you think. And again, if you want to be hostile, I'm not hostile to you. But let's have a conversation. Bring your facts. And I ask you this. Don't try to go down different rabbit holes or tangents. It's an old methodology of, of, of uh, talking, of arguing. As iron sharpens iron, let's become better. This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap Up. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think.